Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about metaplasia. So the definition of metaplasia is where we have a reversible change in cell structure from one fully differentiated form to another form in response to a normal or abnormal stimulus. So the types of metaplasia can either be physiological and pathological. So physiological is a normal type of cell maturation and pathological is a change due to abnormal stimulus. So we're gonna talk about it in further detail with some examples which I've included. So for physiological metaplasia, a good example is the metaplasia of the endocervix, which is a region in the vagina and the metaplasia occurs during puberty. So the type of change is columnar epithelium into squamous epithelium. So I've got a diagram here. So this is the endocervix and here we have the ectoscope cervix so the region in between is known as the transformation zone so this type of physiological metaplasia is a normal part of aging and what you need to know first is the endocervix is lined by columnar epithelium and the exocervix is lined by squamous epithelium so during puberty the transformation zone is going to move to a different place which exposes the endocervix to the harsher environments of the vagina which is more acidic so the change which occurs is the columnar epithelium will then undergo metaplasia and turn into squamous epithelium. However, this is a normal physiological response to this change and it's a part of the aging process. An example of pathological metaplasia is the respiratory epithelium in smokers. So it's initially supposed to be ciliated columnar epithelium, which is um, which you can see here on the diagram. And the harsh stimulus from smoking or the cigarette smoke is what initiates the change to squamous epithelium, which you can see here. So this is how it changes. Now, just to finish off this video, there's some key points that you need to understand about metaplasia, is that it's initially a benign change. So the cell simply just changes its structure in response to being put under abnormal stress. And another thing that you need to note is even though metaplasia isn't considered to be uh, a malignant change, in itself it's just a physiological response to this stress. However, if we have prolonged exposure to this abnormal stimulus, it can lead to dysplasia and later a neoplasm. 